bring in David Kogan, founder of Eliances. But let's get started. We've got the co-creator of the Manhattan Monologue Slam. That's right. Masterpiece, Masterpiece Theater meets American Idol. And that's Philip Kalinske. Now you can reach him at nationalslam.com. Yeah, we have breaking news on your show exclusively. I love that. it. Drum roll, please. Drum roll. There you uh, go. Okay. So when you go to nationalslam.com, you will see the dates and different venues across the country that we're going to be doing them. So if you can't make it to New York, you know, we're going to go to Connecticut, Ohio, St. Louis, and we're going to do like a, a weekend national slamathon where you meet mentors and uh, take classes and seminars just to kind of, you know, if you can't make it to New York City, you can get expertise from New York City casting directors and agents coming to you to talk to you about your career, what you want to do, that kind of thing. So it's a mentorship weekend plus performance show. Sign me up. Yeah. Yeah, when you go to the site, if you go to the National Slam, you can just look uh, at the regionals and see what you know, towns are there and then just register right through the site. Now, Philip, if you were teaching, though, a class on comedy or acting or even voiceovers, voice acting and stuff, what would you want to share with them? What's the secret, really, that you can impart that you hope that they will carry with them throughout their career? Because this is a very extremely competitive environment. Yeah. So the, 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 the sort of the mantra that I have, it took me a long time to figure it out, but anytime you're auditioning or, or doing something, you know, some kind of role. If you think about it, the script's the same for each person that walks in the room. So you have to figure out what your unique interpretation of the script is, and that's when they book you because they go, ah, oh, there's something about you. I don't know what it is, but it's your unique interpretation of the script. So the analogy I always used is um, Marlon Brando was in an acting class with a bunch of other actors, and the teacher was sizing up the class, and he said, everybody i want you to be chickens so everybody's flapping their arms and brando's squatting in the corner and the teacher says who do you think is going to get the part of the chicken and they all point to brando so the teacher walks over and goes what are you doing and he goes Shh, i'm sitting on my eggs unbelievable That's so it, it's that interpretation so like it's crazy because like Julie Roberts is the same person in every movie, but it's her interpretation of the character that we all love. Uh, sort love of it. like that. Well, Phil, you and your brother, you know what? You're changing the way actors and comedians can get discovered. You help them to hone their craft and become even greater at it. Phil, you're a hero. Be sure to catch Manhattan Monologue Slam and National Slam coming to you. Go to nationalslam.com. David Kogan with Alliances.